What's going down, y'all? You already know what it is. Boy, C May KJ, and today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to get waves with a soft brush. Now, right there, I got my royalty soft brush, man. And basically, what the soft brush does is it lays down the frizz. It, this brush right here, specifically, it has pretty good pull for a soft brush. So normally, for my sessions, I'll use like uh, this soft brush, and then I use a super soft brush to like lay it down. You know what I'm saying? More. Recently, I got the cut. I got a three uh, against the grain. So right now, pretty much all I'm using is soft brushes. Um, I'm starting to use a medium soft now because it's been like almost a week since I got the cut, but I'm mainly using soft brushes on this low cut just because it gives me the pull I need and it also keeps my hair laid, so. Another key about soft brushes that I really like is that they distribute the natural oils that's in your hair and also any added product you have to your hair. So like me personally, I always use soft brushes with oils. That's just my thing. And even if you don't put oils in your hair, you can, um, you know what I'm saying? You have natural oils that automatically come from your scalp. I believe it's called sebum. I'll have to do more research on that, but soft brushes are great for distributing products, especially when you got a low cut like I do in this clip right here. Now, as if you follow me on Instagram or you've seen my videos before, you know that my right side is my weak side. And right here, I'm just trying to fix the flow. My way is kind of curved a way that I don't really want it to go. So I've been really putting in a lot of time on this side because I know that this side is my weakest side. If you have a weak side that you want to work on, you got to brush that side more than you do the stronger sides that you have. So right here, um, this is my main weak area. It's around like the back, back right, I'll say. And just a flow issue, I feel like the waves just need to develop a little more. So I'm going on a long wolf journey to really hit my right side and get it to where I want it to be. And uh, make sure you're brushing slow. Slow strokes are usually the best. Um, make sure you're hitting your angles right. Um, I'm always in the mirror, never really blind brushing. Anytime you see me brushing, I'm always in the mirror. So beginners, if you're watching this, make sure to always have a mirror. You don't want to overlap angles. And that's what I feel like I did in my beginning stages. And I'm trying to make sure you guys don't make the same mistakes I did. So just make sure you're brushing the same angles and make sure you're always standing in the mirror. Also, as you guys can see right there, I have a pretty stubborn fork. So what I'm doing with the fork, I am vertical brushing. I'm doing everything I say I do, but I'm shifting my angles on my left side so that my flow can be a little better. So if you see me brushing in a way that's not 100% like my wave pattern is because I'm trying to change my angles up and I'm trying to better my flow because not it, the fork itself is a problem, but the fork can be also solved with fixing the flow not every time it's just vertical brush vertical brush is gonna go out sometimes you gotta change how you brush the other sides of your head to better the fork Also, something I really wanted to focus on with this next wolf is getting my waves um, lower down deep into my taper area. So I noticed that my waves, like I have a, a pretty big space where my last wave is compared to the bottom of my tape line. And I really wanted to focus on that area. So I'm brushing through my ear. That's something, I, a little tip I found. Brushing through the ear will give you that um, Caesar effect. So I want to get my waves lower. So. 
I'm really just focusing on that crown, that right problem area, and just brushing through my ear. You see my ear going up and down, up and down, up and down. But yeah, man, I'm really just trying to focus on those areas. All right, y'all, just like I said at the beginning of the video, I always switch over to my super soft brush after I go for my fern soft, just to give me that extra lay, shine, you know what I'm saying? Also, for people who are just now tuning into the channel and you're watching this video, make sure to please hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share all that good stuff. I really appreciate all the support. Coming at 289 subscribers. I'm trying to get that to 300 definitely by, I'll say, let's say by the 24th of this month. And I really appreciate you guys, but just make sure to go smash that like button for me. I, I appreciate everything, guys. To all my real ones out there who are still watching the video, it's going to all be worth it. Just stay tuned to the end, and I'm going to show you guys the results of this morning method. And trust me, my waves was silky, laid, boy, I'm trying to tell you. Make sure y'all stay tuned to the end of the video, man. Don't, you know what I'm saying? Show me, show me some love, you feel me? Just, just, just stick around. I'm not going to let y'all down. Trust me. last and final step of this whole process is to finish off with a plastic bag you know what i'm saying just to get that extra lay this really helps when you're really wolf and heavy um i got a cut recently so i don't really do it as long as i do normally um i'm just doing it just for a quick minute before i rag up but yeah if you're wolfing i really suggest getting a plastic bag it smooths the hair down i guess it's like the I don't know the science behind it. You can go look that up yourself, but I honestly, this really took my waves to the next level. 